Hi, I'm Nick with Spatial Video Insights, and in this video, I want to talk about an issue that I haven't heard much about. Now, we all know that the Apple Vision Pro is bleeding edge technology, and if you choose to buy one at launch as I did, then you're doing that with the understanding that it is very early. Some things may not work 100%, there may be bugs, and there are things that will change with software updates. With that in mind, I wanted to talk about the surprise issue with the Apple Vision Pro that has quickly become my biggest frustration, and that is Bluetooth support. Now, there's an unspoken promise with Bluetooth. If you have a computer or mobile device that supports Bluetooth, then any Bluetooth device can be paired to it. Now, I know that's not 100% true, but so far it's been so close to being true that we tend to take that for granted. And it's frustrating to find that this is just not the case with the Apple Vision Pro. Now, I'm going to say something that I know is not technically accurate, but it is true to my practical experience. The Apple Vision Pro does not support Bluetooth audio devices, except the headphones that Apple makes. Of course, the Apple Vision Pro has speakers built in, and this is great, but it's not a private listening experience. Anybody in the same room will be bothered by whatever you're hearing. It's not a good experience on an airplane, and for watching movies, it falls way short. The Vision Pro is promoted as a device that provides the highest quality user experience. And clearly it does an incredible job with the visual experience, but I think we just have to acknowledge that the highest quality experience for watching movies includes a full-sized audio system with power and with bass. I cannot find a way to watch movies on the Apple Vision headset while using my home theater audio system. And when traveling, I had hoped I could use a good quality over-the-air headphone set that does not cost over $500. Unfortunately, at the launch of the Apple Vision Pro, Bluetooth is just not the answer. My home theater receiver has Bluetooth built in. The Apple Vision Pro will not see it and will not pair with it. So I bought this external Bluetooth receiver to connect to my home theater system. The Apple Vision will not pair with this either. Now I was able to get it to pair with one set of Bluetooth headphones, but there was a significant lag. Now, of course, I've seen people online arguing that Bluetooth always has a lag and it cannot be trusted for home theater. And I understand that when you're playing games, this lag is even more of a problem. But these same Bluetooth audio devices that I'm talking about work when paired with an iPhone, with an iPad, or an Apple TV. I do understand that there may be an engineering challenge here, but these challenges have been addressed for years in Apple's other devices. And even in the world of gaming, the Nintendo Switch and the Steam Deck both support Bluetooth audio devices. There is a small lag, but generally the experience works just fine. If you look at the tech specs for the Apple Vision Pro, it simply lists Bluetooth 5.3 as a connectivity feature. And I bought the Apple Vision assuming that was the full story. But if you dig deeper, Apple has a support page that explains compatibility with third-party Bluetooth devices is not guaranteed. This is not something that is made clear when you're shopping for the headset. Consider for a moment the PlayStation Portal, the handheld gaming device that Sony released last year. The Portal supports wired headphones and it supports the Pulse wireless headphones that are made by Sony, but it does not support Bluetooth audio devices. And this was a major issue that was brought up in every review I saw of the Portal. I saw many people online saying that the lack of Bluetooth support was the reason they were not interested in buying the PlayStation Portal. Not supporting Bluetooth headphones in 2023 was a big deal. And I would argue that the Apple Vision Pro has this same problem. The PlayStation Portal only works with Sony's wireless headphones, and the Apple Vision Pro only works with Apple's wireless headphones. Okay, yes, with the Vision Pro there are some exceptions, and I'm sure many of you have been able to use some Bluetooth headphones, but in general, you cannot expect your third-party audio devices to work and the Apple Vision Pro does not even have an option for wired audio devices. At least the PlayStation Portal has that. And there's also another weird layer to all of this. On every other Apple device, the Mac, the iPhone, the Apple TV, you can pair Bluetooth audio devices by going into settings, then to the Bluetooth category. But on the Apple Vision Pro, there is a Bluetooth category in settings where you can pair a Bluetooth keyboard or a trackpad, 
but Bluetooth audio devices will not pair there. If you want to try your Bluetooth headphones, you need to go to Settings on the Apple Vision Pro, then to the Accessibility category, to Hearing Devices, then to Other Devices. So if you're lucky enough to have a Bluetooth audio device that does work, the pairing process is completely different from any other Apple device. Okay, so that's audio, but that's not where the Bluetooth problems stop. The Apple Vision Pro does support Bluetooth keyboards, it does support Apple's Magic Trackpad, but it does not support Bluetooth mice. Now, I would agree that the ability to control the interface with your hands is an absolutely incredible engineering accomplishment, and the user experience is great. But I think we can all agree that tapping with your fingers does not work in every situation. There are precise movements that only really work with a mouse or a trackpad. Selecting text in a document is one example. You can do it with hand controls, but it's difficult and frustrating. So the fact that the Vision Pro does support Apple's Bluetooth trackpad, but does not support mice, that's another strange and frustrating choice. Some people prefer a trackpad, some people prefer a mouse. There's nothing wrong with either, but I just can't see the logic in locking one of those out. Now, I love the Apple Vision Pro, and I think it's an incredible device that represents amazing accomplishments in engineering. I think it's likely that Apple put a lot of work into the features that absolutely must be there for the initial release, and there's a good chance that they're working to expand functionality with software updates, so I am optimistic. If they do open up wide general support for Bluetooth audio devices, I will delete this video, happily. In the meantime, I thought it was worth discussing because I haven't seen it covered in review videos and I think it's an important variable if you're thinking of trying the Apple Vision Pro.